You know, more than 70 million people worldwide stutter. And I'm one of those people. There's one in every 100 in the world that stutter. And that's more than 3 million people just in the United States alone that stutter. And yet, did you know there's no cure? That's right. Stuttering affects millions of people, yet we do not have a cure. But we do have ways to learn how to improve and get around our stutter. You see, despite this, there's a great people that live with a stutter and have amazing careers. James Earl Jones, Ed Sheehan, the singer, artist, Winston Ch Churchill, the great leader, Julia Roberts, the actress, and her brother both stutter. Now, they may not always talk about it, but it's there, and it does affect their career and their life. And like them, I have had to learn how to overcome my stutter as a keynote speaker, as a pastor, as a broadcaster, and I've had a great living and doing it all with my voice and with my mouth. Now, there are things that can help you defy the odds. If you learn a little bit about stuttering, it will help you actually to understand why you stutter. One of the biggest thing is we have to learn so we can change and adapt our ways as stutters. Now, one of the biggest things is genetics does play into this. Studies show that 60% of those who stutter also have a family member. That stutters. That was true in my case. My mother still has a horrible stutter, far worse than mine. But even when I talk to her on the phone, I pick up that stutter again because it triggers old habits. Childhood development plays a lot to do in our upbringing and our stutter. Stutterers are usually bullied, teased, they're thought of as stupid. And that childhood development plays into our confidence to speak, to share our thoughts because we feel they're stupid. They're not going to be listened to, and we're awkward. The third thing is there's some neurology that somehow studies say that affects us a little bit. And part of it for me has always been my mind and my brain and my mouth do not sync up at the same speed. There's something that goes too fast, and my tongue will trip up over it. I've had to learn to slow down and slow down and sync those up so everything fires at the right time. And fourth is your family dynamics has a lot to do with your stutter. Studies show that if you have a high pressure, high octane family with high expectations, you may have a stutter because you don't feel you match up to someone else in the family from the expectations that are thrust upon you. Boy, and that was so true of me. Of those four things, for sure three of the four I match up on, yet I've enjoyed an amazing career. And like many of those people I mentioned, they have done so well. Here's a quick little tip for you today. One other thing is relax and just be yourself. Stutters who learn to relax and do like I mentioned earlier about syncing up your brain and your mouth, learn to overcome. You start to learn tick, tricks and tips to help you get past it all. The other thing is learn the words that trip you up. We all have key phrases. There's certain letters that different stutters trip up on. For me, my name was one of the worst ones. That's also a common trait with stutters. We have a hard time introducing ourselves. But ours are often very tough. My parents named me Richard, so I had a tough time growing up. But if you learned about the letters and the sounds, you can learn to edit, change, and keep your voice going because you know that's going to be one of those tough words. Those are just a few things to help you out today because you're not alone. As a stutterer, there's actually more and more of us than you could ever imagine. And there are people you know, and there are many famous people that have learned to overcome, and you can, you can too. This week, I want to help you defy the odds and overcome your stutter. And in fact, this link down below is an organization that works with people year-round to help them defy the odds and learn more about stuttering. Reach out to them and learn more about how you can get your voice and have that confidence like so many of us have.